Well, what can I say? It's only taken several years and lots and lots of nagging to get to the point where we have multiple breakpoints inside Elementor. Well, almost. We still have this, it's still in early alpha or beta stage, but it is good to see that we do actually have it. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through a very brief first look, well, because really there's not a lot to see. I'm gonna give you my sort of first impression, show you how it all works, and then I want to open the floor up to you guys to let me know what you think of this. Is it implemented the way you would like? Could you see there's more things you'd like to be implemented? Let me know in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's just jump over Open Up Elemental and take a look at these new custom breakpoints inside Elemental Beta. So let's take our first look at the additional breakpoints that are in the beta version of Elemental. So I've got Elemental Editor open and let's just switch on the responsive options or switch to responsive mode and you can see this now gives us the normal view we'd expect. We have our three different versions or sizes and we can switch between the tablet, the mobile and our desktop. So once we've got the responsive mode enabled, you'll see we have some additional options, the width and height in the top corner, and we've got the 100% and refresh and those kinds of things. If we click the cog icon, that allows us to manage the breakpoints. This will open up the site settings option. As you can see, mobile and tablet are enabled. However, we still have desktop. Now, desktop cannot be disabled. That is always switched on. So... We couple of things we can do inside here. We can go ahead and we can add in any of the additional breakpoints. So mobile extra, tablet extra, laptop, widescreen, and so on. So let's just enable all of these. And we'll see that what happens is it opens up the options underneath. And inside there, you can see it gives us the values for the actual screen size itself. Now we can go with the default values. And for most cases, that's probably going to be perfectly fine. But you can also go ahead and adjust these to insert different breakpoints if you want to. Once you've chosen all the values you want for your active breakpoints, we'll just simply hit update and that will kind of switch those on. But you'll also notice that at the top, we can't actually access any of those additional breakpoints. Now, this is something I'm sure will be fixed once we get to the point of this being released, it comes out of alpha or beta stage. At the moment, you do need to reload the editor to bring those icons in line so we can start using them. Let's again switch on responsive mode and you can see now that it shows us all the different options that we have inside here. And we can now switch between any of these values. You can see laptop, for example, 1366 resolution, tablet extra, tablet, mobile extra and mobile. So now we have at least those extra options inside you and we can work inside you, set all these things up as you would expect, no problems there whatsoever. So we can fine tune and refine things should we need to. You've also got these options, like I say, up in the top corner. However, this might be just down to me, but if I insert a value, for example, 1600, which is one of the values, or let's just say 1366. You can see the value added inserted isn't in the breakpoint boundaries. Now, I'm not 100% sure why that is the case. Let's try going to widescreen. Let's just insert a different value inside there. Say, example, 1336 again, or 1366, I should say. And we just get the value inserted it isn't in the breakpoint boundaries. That's probably more down to me playing silly buggers, and there's no real documentation for this just yet. However, it is good to see that we do have these options. And if we manage the breakpoints and come back in, we can make changes to these. So let's just change this from 1600 to, let's just say 1500. We'll hit update on there and that will then save those values. So we can create sort of pseudo custom options. Now, there's a couple of things that I would like to see inside here. First of all, I would like to see the ability to add custom. In other words, we can create our own custom breakpoints and then we can save those with a custom name as opposed to just choosing any of these six, I believe, options to start off with or seven, including the desktop. So it would be nice to see that. So we could then just create manual different breakpoints to whatever values we want. So, for example, you might be working on different kinds of devices. For example, you might work on two different kinds of mobile devices. One's using a retina display, one's using a normal display. It would be nice to just be able to create custom ones and name them then based upon the device, those kinds of things. That's not kind of what I'm talking about. You will notice, though, when you change a breakpoint value, that it's also lighter. So you can see you've inserted a custom value. Again, it would be nice, lighter is good, but at first glance, you might not actually notice that. So maybe if it's something you've manually changed and created something that's unique, that it's just displays it in green or something, just something so it is immediately noticeable you've changed a value inside you. 
However, with that in place, you can see at 1500, if we come over to the widescreen and we click on that, well, you can see it's still reported as 1600. So we probably need to update and then refresh this for that value to be reflected inside the actual editor itself. Again, let's just switch to responsive mode. And if we mouse over, you can see it has 1500 pixels, which is kind of what it's showing you now. So very easy to work with, really simple to use. And you can see we can customize these, but like I say, it would be nice to be able to create multiple different variations that are totally customized. So that's basically it. That's what we have. That's how it's currently working. What do you think of this? Is it something you think, well, it's long overdue and you're still not happy with the way it's been set up and configured? Or do you think this is exactly what you wanted? Let me know in the comments section below. I love getting your feedback. Now, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, well, hit the thumbs down button twice as that works pretty well too. All applicable links are in the description below. My name's Paul C. This is WP Tuts and until next time, take care.